Live from iHeartRadio Studio 3B in Tribeca, this is Len Berman and Todd Schnitt in the morning on 710 WOR. Let's not keep the president waiting, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, he's joining us again. I didn't know whether we were going to have him on again. Well, it was busy schedule. After the last call. You know, he's uh, leaving uh, D.C. He's going to be doing, what, two and a half weeks? Two and a half in, weeks at Bedminster vacation. In, in Jersey. Yeah. President Trump, good morning. Thanks again for joining Len Berman and Todd Schnitt in the morning. Oh, don't thank me, Len and Todd. Thank my new chief of staff. He's the one who said it would look good if I do more interviews with losers like you. <laughs> <laughs> makes you look good, right? Really? Uh, Mr. President, uh, we'll get to your new chief of staff in a moment. But first, we heard that you told some members of your golf club in New Jersey that the White House is a real dump. Is that a true story? Fake news. I never said that. But in all honesty, the White House takes up a huge amount of space. It's kind of like Rosie O'Donnell with Roman columns, okay? <laughs> Look, all I'm saying is with a few minor renovations, we can make the White House great again. We'll add some gold toilets, diamond-studded doorknobs, add about 30 stories, an observation deck, zip line across Pennsylvania Avenue, and a big, shiny gold Trump sign at the top. It'll be tremendous, believe me. <laughs> huge. Be huge. <laughs> huge. Uh, we've had a, a whole lot of White House staff changes since we last spoke to you, and that was just last week. Uh, uh, any comment, Mr. President? Okay, look, from now on, there will be no hiring of people with weird-ass names. Seriously. <laughs> When's the last time you actually met a Priebus? Or okay? a Rines, yeah. That's a bad form of skin eczema. That's not a person. <laughs> or... Scaramouche, Scaramouche! Yeah. That's right, Scaramucci. You know, the last time I said that name, I was asking the waiter to sprinkle more Parmesan on my pasta. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm right. <laughs> okay. Hey, uh, well, speaking of uh, Priebus, uh, and you replaced him by with John Kelly, the general. Wh you know, why did you make that move, Mr. President? Okay, look, it's no surprise, okay, Len? Everybody hated Reince. Ever since he was in grade school, he got beat up every day because he was named after a Klingon from Star Trek. <laughs> Total failure. <laughs> now, John Kelly, on the other hand, he's a tough cookie. No, really. Kelly does not mess around. He's already waterboarded three White House chefs because his steak was overcooked. <laughs> Believe that's, that's tough. That's tough. Hey, uh, a little a little sidebar here. I mean, this was reported by the Huffington Post. This is crazy that Scaramucci actually called Ryan's Priebus behind his back rancid penis. I, I mean, wow. That, 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 I didn't hear that one. <laughs> but I believe it. I believe it. All right, listen. It, he's doing a Facebook Live later this week, I think, too. All right, speaking of your uh, new communications director, uh, the fact that you let Anthony Scaramucci go, why did you let him go? All right, can I just say, Mooch was one of the greatest ass kisses who ever lived. And believe me, I've hired all of them. That I can tell you. <laughs> and now that Mooch has left the White House to spend more time not with his family, you know, because of the divorce and custody battle. Exactly. It's very sad. But the biggest tragedy is we still have to pay him for unused vacation time. It's great. <laughs> it is. Now, I know you liked him as a friend, so, you know, have you, have you kind of reached out to him on a personal level? You know, I tried unsuccessfully to send Mooch a card, but as it turns out, there isn't a congratulations on your job, sorry about your divorce, and sorry about getting fired greeting card <laughs> section at Walgreens. No, no those are really there, yeah. Wal Walgreens, that's, I think, at the corner of happy and healthy, right? It is. At exactly. fire, fired and divorced, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, Mr. President, the Washington Post reported that you dictated the first misleading statement that your son Don Jr. made about meeting the Russian lawyer. Your press secretary said you acted as any father would. Do you agree with that statement? Okay, look, like I've told everyone before, Donnie didn't know any better. He's a very special kid. He was dropped on his head many, many times by our Guatemalan <laughs> nannies, okay? It's not his fault. Everybody needs to lay the hell off of Donnie, okay? He's got enough problems being my third favorite kid. Yeah, that's a problem. <laughs> All right, North Korea, we got we can't dodge that big issue, Mr. President. Right. They launched their second ICBM. It flew longer and higher than their previous missiles, you know, kind of making everyone nervous. Look, we have absolutely nothing to worry about. Kim Jong-un is just a sad little fat kid with duck sauce on his chins, having another weekly temper tantrum. Wait, on, on his oh, wait, did you say on his chins? <laughs> his chins. chins. On his chins. Yeah, He's plural. literally Chris Christie from Koreatown. 
Yeah, there's your line. There you go. There it is. He doesn't even have a free hand to hit the nuke button because he's always holding a plate of nachos. <laughs> That's very good. Oh, boy. Uh, Mr. President, gr- great to have you on again. Uh, we look forward to it. Enjoy your two and a half weeks at Bedminster, which is not a dump, apparently, right? It's going to be great. you got to come out and hit the sticks with me. There's a- and if you need any more questions answered, call back in several hours when I'm done tweeting. <laughs> Len Berman and Dodge Knit are just like Obamacare, dot, 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 a total disaster, hashtag sad. Yeah, I, I can't wait to see Todd hitting the sticks with you, Alfred Bedminster. That'll be a treat. Thanks, Mr. President. Uh, Later. Kim Jong Un is <laughs> Chris good. Christie from Koreatown. <laughs> well, there's That's a winning. Good. That's a good. That's a winning line. Yeah. Uh, the, the whole bit was worth that line. Uh, it was. Yes, that was a good. One. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. With duck sauce on his on his chins. 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 <laughs> oh boy. Uh, you know, we can have them on as much as we want. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that is good.